Hi, this is Bridget with Zebra Glitter and Nails, Positively Zebra, the Daily Stripe, and today we're going to be doing the application of a chunky dip. So you'll see me looking down some. I've got the other video catching everything I'm doing there, but uh, sometimes it's nice to have a face with a video, so up and down, here we go. Okay, so chunky glitter application. There's a couple different ways to do it. Today we're just going to be using a finger to do it and uh, I'll show you some of the other ways uh, coming up soon I'll talk about them today but to get started you want to do your um, cuticle prep so make sure that your uh, wash your hands first and then sorry that was loud and then push your cuticles back make sure everything's pushed back your side walls and up here right around the cuticle bed Make sure that's all clean. Uh, a lot of times I will take either the orange stick or the end of this carefully um, and just make sure there's no pieces that are up in there because sometimes you will get uh, little pieces of what you just broke loose up there. So a lot of people don't talk about that. And then I always start with bond. So, um, and I've explained this before, Zebra's Bond, which I'll show you, it's just in a little bottle here pH bond and what this does is it helps adhere uh, helps the keratin to adhere to the products that we're putting on our nails and we're using a little practice finger here they come in very handy so my hands are not very pretty so I tend to like to use the uh, practice fingers a lot so let that dry in the meantime we're gonna get out let's use our two-in-one today so we're gonna use zebra's two-in-one which is in the same realm as our professional liquids so they do have the odor to them they're not our uh, no odor dainty liquids but uh, we'll get to those soon too and um, then we have our activate which you need and then we also have um, our clearest crystals clear powder um, it's very good clear uh, to encapsulate at the end I don't always do that step but a lot of people do so I want to make sure that I'm doing that for you guys okay so let's get started our bond is dry and we're going to go ahead and do the apex first so you're just going to put a line oops, that was wavy right down the middle so not going out to all the edges and everything right now and we're going to kind of just lay that in i find that the lay-in method works best for glitters uh chunky glitters now then take your finger and press down any pieces okay and then any that are not stuck to glue of course are going to come off which is fine where's my dusting brush we're going to dust those off but that helps build build your apex now you can do the apex with just clear powder if you prefer and um that's how i do mine a lot of times that way i'm not wasting my dip powder and i'm getting um that apex a little better but make sure those are laid down real good that's your biggest thing is in between um on your dips you want to make sure that you're pressing down all your chunky glitters otherwise it's not going to end up good and it took me a very long time to learn to be patient and to get the chunkies right and then you can clean up as you go or you can clean up after um, you do your dip either way whatever you like and we're going to pull this finger back out of here again and lay it in. You can also hand place glitter pieces if there is a certain pattern or something that you do want um, that you're not getting by dipping it in. If you shake your cupcake liner, which is what we poured it into uh, to apply, if you shake it, it'll bring your pieces to the top. Of course, you know, if I'm like, oh, I have way too much green on here, I want more black then obviously I can move it around to where I have what I want. Okay, and we're gonna clean around the cuticle again. I'm gonna keep it out of the holder here just to make that a little quicker. Okay, so that's two dips. Brush it off real good. Okay, so we're getting it kind of where we want it, but if we want more on there, we're gonna obviously do another dip. If you're satisfied and you just want a few kind of down the middle where mine ended up, then um, you can go ahead and quit there and activate or encapsulate. Okay, and then again, lay that into your powder, kind of roll it around a little bit. Make sure you get it all and then press down 
and like if I wanted to hand place you could use tweezers or whatever to hand place any that you want I'm pretty happy with how it looks here so um, just making sure those are all pushed down you can keep going with your dips until you get it totally filled if you want uh, however whatever you like so actually whoops on that. I'm gonna do one more dip I kind of want a little more over here and here now I'm not hand placing them today and just showing you that with dipping you can pretty much get it how you want it um, sorry I don't have my glasses on I think there might be a glitter caught up in there but we're gonna go with it all right no I guess it's all right it's just a partial okay so go ahead and apply your dip again if you're doing another coat now this time I'm only gonna apply the glitter on the spots that I want wipe your brush off in between that way you're not getting any contaminants at all into your powder and then there we go now we're picking up a little more of what I wanted okay so press those down now I keep picking it up on my finger okay perfect there we go I've kind of filled in those spots that I wanted if there's um, any that you still want it on same process there okay wipe off in between that way we're not getting the glitter dots in our um, liquids because the next time you go to do a mani you're going to end up with those glitter dots on your next mani all right and clean up around the edges that's going to get anything that's sticking out that doesn't belong and press down see how i'm pressing down it's almost flat so if you do this step that's going to save you a bunch in the end and then again clean around your cuticles whichever end you like to use remove those little pieces if there's anything not where you want it get those out of the way all right and then yeah that looks much better if you take your time here you're going to end up with a great finished product now i usually before i activate even just do a light trim around the edges um, you don't have to do that because you can mess it up but I do move your powders out of the way we're gonna go ahead and activate oh no 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 we're not <laughs> we're encapsulating and clear today so to encapsulate and clear this helps you if you have a little more trouble with the chunkies it also helps to uh, protect them if you're doing any filing I've gotten to where I don't typically have to file or do anything to mine um, so I don't necessarily do this step normally and then this is dip it in tap it off we're gonna dip again because I've explained before our powder absorbs quite a bit even if you put it on light okay we're gonna do one more and then we'll activate don't get too much uh, base it's all about the base no, I'm just kidding horrible pun okay there we go and let's go ahead and dip that in encapsulate and clear okay if you have yours nice and straight and good to where you like it you do not have to file or anything you can go ahead um, and activate and go right into your top coat after you wait your two minutes but either way we have to activate so we're going to activate here I always do kind of one quick layer of activate and then I do another one that is purposeful so not too much you don't want to flood it I've explained that will leave ridges or white dots in your dip that you do not want there so this is where we have to wait our two minutes during that time if you want to clean up um, I have mine in the bags that we use to prep orders so I'm just gonna dump my cupcake liner my dips back in there seal this back up okay and that's one that doesn't go out to customers but um, we use gloves when we do those so you never have contamination or anything but okay and wait the two minutes we got about another minute left if you need to clean up you would clean up before we activate normally um, I forgot that step so after you do your clear if you need to clean up and you do that and then once that is 
at two minute mark, we're gonna go ahead and top coat and we're all done if you don't need to file. Now, if you need to file, this is where you would go in, do any filing. You've got the clear coat, so it's not gonna mess up your uh, glitters. But mine's really smooth don't need to do anything so if you do the right process you're not going to go have to go back we're using the two-in-one again so it's your base and your top coat all in one bottle it's a little different than the professional base and top has a different formulation um, okay make sure you cap the ends and the sides and you're good to go and it'll stay that shiny if you want a second layer of uh, top coat Two and one, you can apply that. I usually just go with one. It works great and stays nice and shiny unless you rub it off like I just did. Okay, and that should be dry any second and I'll get it up here so you can see it a little bit better. And there it is. Okay, nice chunky dip. See how smooth it is? It looks um, in person. It looks like it's under an epoxy layer. So there you go. Thank you for joining Positively Zebra, the daily stripe, and how to do a chunky nail dip by the lay-in method.